नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट जे के टू डी फ्लिप लॉप कन्वर्शन ये टोटली वी हैव टू फॉलो फाइव स्टेप्स लेट सी स्टेप वन स्टेप वन इज वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई अवेलेबल एंड रिक्वाइर्ड फ्लिप लॉप्स here available flip flop is nothing but input flip flop that is jk flip flop whereas required flip flop is output flip flop that is d flip flop now let us see step 2 step 2 is construct characteristic table characteristic table for required flip flop step 2 is based on the required flip flop whereas step 3 and step 4 are based upon the available flip flop so for d flip flop uh, we require two inputs the inputs are d and qn whereas the output is qn plus 1 is the output here we have two inputs so totally we will have four combinations next here the output is similar to d only why because with the help of the d flip flop we are storing the data so the input will be produced as the output so here what is the value zero in the second case zero third case one fourth case one now let us see step 3 step 3 is we have to find excitation table step 3 is find excitation table excitation table for for require for required flip flop is over step 3 is based upon the available flip flop so what is the available flip flop jk flip flop step 3 and step 4 are based upon the available flip flop so here the inputs are qn qn plus 1 are the inputs whereas the outputs are jk are the outputs so totally we will have four combinations 0 0 0 1 next 1 0 1 1 next j column is 0 1 don't care don't care whereas j k column is reverse of j reverse of j so that means don't care don't care 1 0 now step 4 is step 4 is also based upon the available flip flop we have to find the boolean expression for the available flip flop so step 4 is find boolean expression for available flip flop so that is j k if you observe jk so here what are the inputs yeah next here based upon the excitation table based upon the excitation table we have to fill this table we have to fill this table so we have to take j and k why because here we need to obtain j and k values j and k values okay if you observe j column uh, here the inputs are 0 0 so 0 0 means what is the output 0 don't care here qn qn plus 1 values are 1 0 so 1 0 means output is don't care one next qn qn plus 1 values 0 1 so 0 1 means one don't care next qn qn plus 1 value 1 1 so 1 1 means don't care zero now based upon j column and k column we have to evaluate the expressions if we if we observe here here the inputs are d and qn so first let us write for j so here we have two inputs so two variable can of map is enough so the first input is d second input is qn 0 1 if you observe j column next 0 1 means don't care 0 1 means don't care uh, next 1 0 means 1 next next 1 1 means don't care 1 1 means don't care so we can combine these two cells as a group so here uh, qn is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider that whereas d value is 1 so the expression j for j is d d likewise evaluate the expression for the k for k so d and qn are the inputs if we observe k column so 0 0 0 means don't care 0 0 means don't care next 0 1 1 1 next 1 0 don't care 1 0 don't care we can combine these two cells as a group qn is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider that whereas d value is 0 so that means k is d bar now we have to draw the circuit diagram so here what is the available flip flop jk is the available flip flop jk so this is nothing but our clock pulse next the output is nothing but qn and qn bar 
actual output and the complemented output. So here J receives input from D. So if you have, let us assume that this is uh, D input. So J receive input from D. Whereas K means D bar, D bar. So we have to complement this one. Okay, K means D bar. So this is nothing but circuit diagram. So in this way we can convert JK to the D flip flop. 